Hello and welcome to the NASCAR Legends, the 87 cars here at Darlington. Uh, this should be a tough combination. I think I've done this before, maybe once, but um, uh, we've got a nice competitive field here. I am the number four, but top uh, seven guys are all Division One, and uh, this doesn't always get the best participation in this series. So I've uh, got some hard racing ahead of us, I believe. Um, I'm not quite as fast as I would have liked, would have preferred. I couldn't quite hit the same times people were hitting in the practice session before me. It was in about ninth overall, and uh, not too many people in there. So, uh, we might be aiming for long run speed here, if possible. And, uh, you know, try to get the strategy right and all that. But uh, I think I can uh, keep it off the wall pretty good. That's a big thing. At uh, old Darlington. So... Green flag, uh, green flag. Let's get that concentration mode here as I do this lap. You kind of have to be aggressive on the throttle, at least for the qualifying lap. And uh, that doesn't really come so natural to me. So I think that's where I'm losing some time as I uh, struggle to get that done. But uh, hey, I'll time best. About all I can hope for, I guess. And I think the second lap's almost guaranteed to be worse than the, than the first, unfortunately, because the tires kind of just wear that quickly. But uh, we'll go ahead and give it a try. It's too bad because it looks like I executed that much better that time. But I don't think we're going to have as much grip. Heading off into this turn here. Ooh! Yep, see, <laughs> I tried to push it, and uh, didn't work out, so that's fine. About as good as I could hope for on that first lap. And uh, the only way it was going to be better is if I really nailed it, so that's why I kind of just went for it. I might as well stay out here for a minute. Even though I think, uh, I think the car might be a little damaged. Yeah, I think the wheel might be <laughs> messed up. It's, uh, it's feeling a little weird. Oh well, maybe we'll practice... Uh, Green flag pit stop then, in case we have to get that done with our broken car. I think if we do that, I'll probably just go ahead and take this route. Ooh, ooh. very loose, very loose. I'm going to have to slow down quicker than that. Alright, good to know. Because uh, Darlington, very difficult pit road to get off to. So, uh, probably should have done more practice for green flag pit stops ahead of time, but... Um, I think I've kind of just accepted the fact that uh, I'm just going to take a slow pit stop if we have to do green flag, and uh, just make sure I don't make a mistake. I'd rather be uh, slow and steady than you know try to take it too fast and wreck myself. So I think maybe the goal would be come on down here, the brakes real good, then bring it around this way. Yeah, such a strange pit road. That'll that'll be good. Kind of enter the enter the lane off of three there, or before three. And then I gotta remember that uh, you gotta stop pretty quick in the start. All right, so that's not too bad. Uh, our qualifying time just doesn't seem too bad. Looks like we're ahead of a couple guys. I didn't think I had very uh, very fast time, but seems like it worked out all right. P3 at the moment. Uh, don't recognize too many people in here. I think, uh, I think the 87s have gotten some more participation because of the Winter Series. Maybe some more guys bought the, uh, bought the vehicle to participate. And, uh, so now they're out here in the 87 Series. That's great. I think the Winter Series was a fantastic idea to, uh, help increase the number of people in this series and introduce some people and... Plus, it just looks darn fun. I never... I only race whenever I kind of am feeling like it. I don't really schedule specific times. Be like, all right, the Winter Series is at 4 p.m., so I'm going to get on at 4 p.m. I kind of just, you know, get on when I feel like it. And so usually it's not at a time when the, the Winter Series is on. Because, you know, I just do this for fun. It looks fun to participate in that, but I just don't schedule my day around it, I guess. Maybe I should. And I'd be able to do more of those. But, uh, oh well. So this is interesting. I didn't expect to be near the front. This is actually a, a very nice starting spot. Hopefully, guys take it easy at the start. 
I got our brake bias back to 42%. Help get it rotated. Maybe that's a little aggressive, I don't know. Yeah, you know what, since we might have to do a green flag stop and I don't want to spin myself, let's go to like 45. Sure. Still probably pretty low, but I'm happy with it. It's doing the comments has been advertising this series, uh, even in the practice section. I got like some sort of Super Mario car in front of us, that's cool. Oh my god, stop. Blood in the comments. Give it a rest. My oh lord. We don't have enough data for that. Our crew chief ready. We got two sets of tires. We better be nice to those. Is uh, we'll have to be careful about when we take those. It was uh, having the tires at Bristol that helped us pull off that finish. If you happen to see that video, the '87s at Bristol. Yeah, good tires at a good time. Really benefited us. So I imagine it would be the same here, because uh, tires can be very important. And uh, it's not so easy to save tires at Darlington. Because you're kind of just doing everything you can to keep the keep the car under you and not smash into the wall. So tire saving has to take a back seat in your brain, at least for me. But uh, I will try to think about that too. So I got my brake bias back, and I'm not going to be doing qualifying laps during the race. But uh, like I said, I think this place, uh, I think this place likes being aggressive on the throttle, as is what I'm trying to say. I think that'll probably help keep even tire wear as well. So I will try to do that a little bit. You know, get on the gas pretty aggressively on the exit of corners and you know, get some speed. Even the tire wear. But, uh, we'll see how that goes. For the first part of the race, we're just gonna hopefully not die. Is too wide here is difficult enough in a easy to control car. Imagine it's not going to be much better in the inside column. with these cars. So hopefully people will be patient, give room, and try not to be too wide unless absolutely, absolutely necessary. And I don't know when it would be absolutely necessary. <laughs> the last lap, maybe. We'll see. Thought about not qualifying, but. It's just so hard to pass here, and it's very easy to get stuck behind people re moving really slow, so I think we're going to do second gear start. So uh, I think qualifying was a necessary evil. And uh, I mean, you would think the guys up front are a little better at controlling their car, you would hope. It's another factor as well, but that doesn't always seem to be the case. We'll see though. We'll uh, be extra patient. Hopefully, not get run over. And uh, be ready for whatever this race has in store for us. So we're about ready to go. We'll keep an eye on Princess Daisy here. And he's off. Very happy with that start. We got room behind us. getting a little wily, but I am not going to take this run. It is too early for that nonsense. Easy on the throttle. And if we may, if we pull off a little bit of a lead behind us, I, I am A-OK -okay with that. Oh, uh, caution. Alright. That's fine. Single file from now on, so we survived the hardest restart. Hopefully. I don't think it should get any worse than that. One and only double file restart we'll have to deal with. So tires are shot, we gotta get more. <laughs> we only got two sets, so we gotta be nice to these. And uh, make them last. Uh, maybe not wear them any extra during caution laps either. That doesn't seem all that necessary. Take it easy around these corners. Hey, car. Pit road is now open. 
don't think anyone's hitting at this point. Yeah, I don't think pitting here is going to do any good. You're not going to all of a sudden be able to make it. So, I'll take the track position for now. Because clearly, something happened back there. And I was not part of it because I'm in front of it. So let's keep that going. I like that, uh, I like that strategy. Be looking at the wreck in our rear view mirror instead of our wind, our windshield. Two green already. All right, pretty quick uh, pace laps it seems. Really hope we get uh, a real nice jump again this time. We don't know, need anyone trying to pass us on the first turn. That's just the worst, especially at Darlington. Because. Uh, Maybe you can go into turn one's too wide. I don't recommend it. Turn two, please don't. Turn three, a lot of people will, but I don't recommend it. And then trying to pass out of turn four, please don't do that. And that's how you go side by side at Darlington. You don't. That's the strategy. <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, the I think the best way to do it is try to get a run on someone on the exit of a corner, be up right behind them kind of like this, and then get on the gas a little sooner, duck down to their inside and hopefully be mostly past them by the time you're going through the straightaway. And then ideally they'll back off. That's kind of what you gotta hope for. But there's no uh, there's no perfect way to try to pass someone at Darlington, so. No tire spin to worry about. You got uh, low RPMs here in second gear. So don't have to worry about that. So hopefully we'll get a, uh, a good jump. Maybe the 13 will stay that far back. Do us a favor. So our uh, fuel's not calibrated because we haven't done enough green laps. So our crew chief's not going to be able to help us out too much for now. We won't know how much fuel we're burning up and stuff. That's all right. Like I said, I don't think we're going to have to worry about going in the pits anytime soon. Maybe if we get another caution, another, I don't know, 10 laps or something, but not now. Right now we just got to focus on ticking those laps off. And keeping it off other cars and keeping it off the wall. The pace car is in. There it goes. Green, green, green. That is uh, not as good of a jump this time, but at least they don't have a run on us. A little light there, that's fine. Take off early. See if you get a good run on the straightaway. Oh, we got a pass for the lead. The next car's the leader. We kind of half backs off. That's cool. Seems like they negotiated that pretty well. I'm not going for any passes. Not now. Too early. Much too early for that. The leader's getting a wall. Thought I saw some sparks. That's not what you like to see. No, not taking that run either. Not only do I not really want to pass now, but I don't really want to use up the tire to do so quite yet. But uh, if this guy holds us up too much, then... Sorry, Princess Daisy. We might have to put you back a spot. Just uh, gonna keep it single file for now. Still trying to use the accelerator on the exit of uh, corners. Like I said, try to even out that tire wear. I think that might be the way to go. We've got Devin coming up. I know he is an aggressive racer. He's gonna want to pass immediately, probably. So, uh, sorry. 
I gotta go for it here. Oh! Never mind. Well, we didn't get in front of him before that happened. Still wrecking back there. 6.8 gallons. Still can't make it on fuel if we fill up now. I don't think. And it's still too early for tires. Still gonna take that track position. I might just have to let Devin buy the number seven. Devin seven. Seven Devin. Because I know he uh, he wants to be in the front. So. Pit road's open. Pits are open. It's good to know your uh, fellow racers if you recognize names. Know their driving styles. So you know what to uh, to expect. Saw so he was moving forward and I'm sure he plans on doing it some more. So we'll let him on, on by. Forgot to turn the talk. Talk radio back on. I'm sure we missed so much important banter. Probably guys yelling about accidents. That uh, should be two to two to green already here. Yeah, very quick caution laps. I love it. Maybe they're normal length, and I'm just excited. But uh, it's been fun so far. It's a you know it's a fun uh, fun combination. Darlington's always pretty good. Fun to race, I think. It's fun to race the track. Maybe less fun to race other people on this track. Because it gets really, really sketchy sometimes. But uh, it's fun to bring this car here and fight it around. Much better than flat-footing it in the next gen at, uh, I don't know, Michigan or something. It's, uh... Ah, everyone complains about that car enough. I'm going to stop already. We get it. It's not good. All right. <laughs> Six point four so like I said still too early to be pitting with only two sets of tires and uh, they haven't shown that we're going to have a green flag run for any length of time yet so I know uh, Mr. Sean Butler was back there as the number one yep he's moving his way up he didn't qualify but uh, I know he's going to be up here at the at the end, so long as he doesn't get caught in any wrecks or anything, any One major wrecks. He's very in fast in these cars, and other cars as well, so we'll expect him up here at some point as well. We'll definitely be seeing some different drivers before this one's over. So we'll be coming to lap 13 here. Still early on. Tires haven't really felt much different yet because we haven't had too many green laps, but I guarantee you we're already a, a little bit slower than, say, the uh, all time best time. Might consider uh, two tires when we do pit. Always Get seems to be a good idea around. in these cars. But we'll. Uh, We'll think about that when it's time. Post car is on. Time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Solid jump. Maybe not so much for the three. I don't want to do this. It's just really slow. He's uh, had trouble shifting, I think. So we're not going to pass, but I think Devin's going to want to, like I said, so we'll watch out for him. I'm content just staying behind the uh, three. The he's passing on the turn. Keep Let on. him by. Clear. Like I said, had to anticipate that. He's going to, he says to heck with Darlington, I'm passing whenever I want. There he goes. And you know what? If he keeps it clean and doesn't slide up in front of people and wreck himself or others, maybe it'll pay off for him. He'll have the track position. And like I said, being aggressive on the throttle here usually rewards you. So, you know, that kind of driving style might work out for someone here. As long as you can uh, keep it clean. So 
uh, we'll have to watch out for him later. I think unfortunately we have to pass uh, old Daisy here. Clear. Make sure we're sticking to the bottom just in case he does uh, drive alongside us there. Have to be prepared. So. Alright. Not being held uh, held back anymore from there. And I imagine uh, Keep hustling. Devin's going to be going forward, so... Ooh, that's a hard hit. That was a stiff, <laughs> hard, hard hit. wonder if that messed up his car at all. These things are tanks, though, so he might be a fine. But uh, he really gave that a smack. I almost wonder if his tires are already kind of burned off. Feeling that rotation mid-corner, though, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. That's how I'm treating the tires. Really got to break into this corner though, especially when it starts getting a uh, when you start getting less grip. Really got to break into turn three. Just keep him consistent for now. That's all you gotta do. Just gotta be there at the end. This is, no matter what car I'm in, turns three and four is always my worst part on this track. I just can never quite get it figured out. I think you wanna be like as close to the wall as possible, but it's so scary here at Darlington, trying to be close to that wall. Very easy to get up into it, so. I'm probably not as daring as I need to be to be fast. Yeah, that wasn't so bad, though. Can't a tenth that lap, just by running it a little bit better. Love to feel the rotate on the exit. Hard brake. Good on the tires too. Get it slowed down before the corner. But uh, that time was a tenth slower, so who knows? Thirteen's back there. I'm watching him. Might see if he ends up getting close to us. I think a lot of my inconsistency comes in turns three and four. Whether I hit that right or not, it kind of is the difference between being up a tenth or down a tenth. Sliding through. Thankfully, didn't get two sideways there. That could have been bad. Probably uh, pushed it a little bit too much there. Kind of catching back up to Devin here. You know he's going to fight for it, though, so I'm definitely going to make sure I have a good, solid run on him before I ever try to pass. And make sure I can get it done and not uh, spend too long side by side. Hey, we got about a second behind us. Nice. Here that happened. Really can't spend too much time looking behind you here. <laughs> Or else you'd miss the leader getting into the wall. And whatever just happened. Okay. Now's probably the time for tires and fuel. 
Yes, I think uh, we should make it to the end now with, uh, with the amount of fuel we burned off and how much we can put in. So we'll get our tires on there. Um, I think I'm going to put four on. And if we get a caution late, that's when I'll do the uh, the two tire thing. For now, I'll take all four. Thank you. So I don't have to worry about burning them off during the yellow flag anymore. I believe we'll be... Are we going to pit this time, or is it going to be next time? It's time. Okay. I imagine everybody's going to be coming in. I don't know why anyone would stay out at this point. Can't risk it going green to the end here. If you have the sets, now you gotta use them. Oh, shoot. Whoa, are we slowing down that much for? Holy cow. That was a little excessive. I'm just gonna come down here, man. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Pretty good stop. Or our left sides, ninety, ninety-two. Okay, so I'm I'm okay with the. Uh, I'm okay with uh, how that looks now. That guy took two. We'll see if that pays off for him. We overtake Devin. Alright. He's going to pass right by us, though, so that doesn't matter all that much. But Because I'm not going to be racing hard at the start. It's a solid pit stop. Just got a couple people that took right sides only. My thing is, uh, I want to do the right side only strategy later in the race. So that we do have still some grip with the left sides. Later on. And I just feel like we're going to get another caution and another opportunity to put the tires on, so. One left to green. Right, Colton, get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. I don't like just driving through the pits like that because uh, you can kind of block people from seeing. But, I mean, they were already in the left, leftmost lane, which is a little frustrating. But, I mean, I need to be able to see my pit, too. And you're just going to, there's going to be a lot of problems if guys are all blocking the leftmost lane and everything, so. Yeah, I'll just run through the pit pit lane so uh, no one can hit me. <laughs> and hopefully get a good start here. It'll be interesting to see how much pace these guys have that took either zero or right side only tires. No one's saying anything about it, so. Hopefully I don't get run in the back of if uh, these guys are slow off the start. Uh, go green. Stay focused. The pace car is off. Be ready. <laughs> oh, we're waiting till green. Okay, green, I'm getting hit from the high. Thank you, Devin. Alright. Oh, yeah. I knew they were going to stack up, so I just anticipated it. My bad. No, you're good. Okay, are we blocking? I don't know what's going on here. The next car's the leader. Oh, oh no! Ooh, clear hole. Holy cow, that was weird. <laughs> it's scary. Go low. Clear. This is going to be bad. Outside, clear. Outside. Still there. No, this 15 is a mess. Scaring the hooching out of me. Clear high. Outside. Wish this two would just back off. Thank you. Something needs to come back out, man. Ooh, that start was weird. I appreciate your patience, too. Yeah, it's just time. It's 
Alright. Let's see if we can get back in the rhythm. This must be a right side only guy. Clear. There's Sean Butler. I told you he'd be up in the front. And then the number eight. Was he a guy that uh, might have been a guy that took no for right side tires? He seems to be doing just fine. He might have been able to get out in front of all that weirdness at the start. Oh no, Devin must have wrecked. I didn't see it happen. I hope it was nothing I was involved in. That stinks. I know he's a viewer of uh, Gavin and Nick as well. I'm always kind of rooting for him, at least for that reason. <laughs> We got a nice bit of a room behind us. Probably because I'm overdriving <laughs> or something. So hopefully not too bad. Still kind of just trying to focus on uh, slowing it down at the right times and having the throttle at the other times. Not sure if uh, two tires was the play at this point in the race, so I think I'm happy with taking I four. Sorry. Love if this went green. I can't, but that I'm does not seem likely at all. Can't run that fast. That hard going in turn three. Okay, turn four. There we go. Still getting a little bit of slide in yeah, through turn two. Oh, 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 don't overcorrect. Thank you. Woo! Got some lap car jump scares. You've just done a 32.2. It's easy to do. These cars are tough. I say that too much, but it's because it's true. I'm not allowed to judge, because I guarantee you, um, I could easily spin out any one of these laps. About getting uh, on the gas too hard, maybe uh, turning the wheel too much at any point. So maybe the right side strategy is working for the eight, at least. Or maybe he just had a really, really good stop and uh, got out ahead of everyone while taking. Or I'm actually not entirely sure how his race has gone. I'm uh, feeling pretty good keeping up with the number one. Uh, I feel like if I can uh, kind of mimic what he's doing, I'll be just fine. He's running real high up on the wall, though. I, I don't have the confidence for that. I will say that. <laughs> That's some precision that I don't trust myself to have. Sure, maybe I can do it one lap if I really need to. And that's an if. That's a maybe. But, uh... I don't trust myself to do that consistently, so I'm going to run just a little bit farther down the track and just try to be consistent. So I don't believe I could do that all the whole race. But kind of like drive over the scene. It's kind of where I'm comfortable. They're a little hard. We're okay, though ended up being a pretty good turn. See, that's it's all about your risk versus reward level here. Like that, I felt a little uncomfortable. I felt like I went in there a little hard, but it was actually a pretty good turn. That's what this place is all about. Hey, right, that was a good turn. Compared to last lap, anyway.
and that one not so much. <laughs> Stuff here. Number one's driving away because they're very skilled. But I believe we're still moving out. Moving farther from. Uh, at a weird angle. <gasps> Oof. Yeah, I took that weird. That was not how to take that. I could tell I was too far down the track and it was going to make turn two a little sketchy, so I had to focus for a second. Um, I think we're generally moving. Really? Seven? Yeah. Devin, I think, is fighting as a lap car. This is uh, giving me flashbacks, but. That's, uh, that's how he drives. That's what he chooses to do, so. He's gonna fight the leader, I guess, as a lap car. I mean, I guess if he wants his lap back, I assume he's one lap down. So now the uh, number one has caught him. That's probably really, really frustrating. Personally, I would, uh, I'd be fine with letting him by and just taking the lucky dog if, uh, you know, I can get it. It doesn't seem like there's too many people fighting for the lucky dog. Unless I'm mistaken, so. Oh, the uh, eight okay, is wrecking. Next car is oh, come up on the track, please. Okay, I had to take that really soft because I was worried about what was happening. I'm not going to dive it in on him. That has allowed the two to catch up as we took that really soft. So I lost some time there, but I'd rather be careful and stay in it. We're not even halfway through the race yet. I think the aid is uh, a little slower on tires at the moment. Or maybe it's that damage that got him, I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention to what his uh, relative was compared to us from him in the lead. I was more looking at what the one was up to, and he was pulling away, so. Uh, two might be catching us. Looks like that little group behind might be catching us. After we had to slow down for a bit, so. Keep that in mind. Starting to get a little scarier. We might be ready to go. Looked like he was kind of looking, maybe thinking about passing. Rather be patient at the moment. Chris, I think you need to park it, man. Your Devin is still fighting the leader up there. Two drives it in so much harder than we do. <clears throat> Careful, that one, Sean. Drove through me in turn three. Yeah, I know. Really desperate to stay in the lead lap, even though if he goes a lap down, he's still getting the lucky dog. Yeah. Yeah. Fight for it. Would appear so. It's for now. Keep low. Uh, I thought I had enough on him, but no, nah, he was able to hold it off for now, so. Keep low. Clear up top. Car outside. Stay low. Clear. Whew, getting scary. Scary situations. Car inside. Still there, inside. Not on our inside, but he went for it anyway. Still That's there. fine. Clear inside. He's trying to stay alive. Car inside. V4. Still there, inside. Clear inside. All right, get back in line. So what happened there is uh, it was a bad decision to try to go for it, I think. I couldn't make the pass done, and then I was slow, and so I kind of got freight trained a little bit. So now that we've found our place in line again, we should be okay. 
I'm fine with how that went. Because uh, I'm not wrecked, I was able to negotiate the two wide scary moments. Still in top five for now. And uh, didn't have to fight for a whole long time or anything. So good. Ooh. Too wide through there. I think the eight hit the wall. Oh no! Some touch. It's getting weird. Oh, don't don't make a move on me, please. Okay, we're good. It's still a speed, but he's just made a couple mistakes where he's uh, hit the wall or been put in the wall by lap cars. So. Not enough of a run to go for it here, I don't think. Is he going to hit the wall again? He got close. Got scary. Still not enough of a run. Didn't really get much of a run at all, actually. Ooh, he drives it hard. Is he gonna stick it? Might hurt his run off, though. Though I didn't get a that great of a turn anyway. Let's see. Can we make it now? Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. All right, Patrick. Happy to be past him. He was just hitting the wall a little bit too much for my uh, for my liking. Now, if you can make a pass safely, are you kidding me, Jeffy? It's not a terrible idea, because dude, you ran right into me. <laughs> people get angry because uh, it's not easy to make passes. So if you can do it, it might be a good idea. Yeah, sitting back watching you guys. Uh, the nine threw a block, and the five was there. By the way, people are always going to be angry at Darlington. There's just always going to be contact. It's such a tough crack. Quarter panel, dude. People are never not going to be angry at Darlington. I stayed straight and was moving to the right on the corner. You can watch his wheel, man. <laughs> yeah, look at look at the time we've got on the eight now. We needed to do that. Yeah, you did that to me multiple times. You will go back and watch. You can watch. I was even driving down the track. Yeah, you, you went down the past me on the bottom of off the racing surface. That was all you, man. Anyone got some popcorn? I threw that block way before you were next to me. I mean, I've been there before. I've we'll been plenty angry this. playing That's this game before. Answer. Much, <laughs> much more than I should be. I get it. We'll need the block on lap 53. I'm just glad it's not me for once. <laughs> getting angry at something. Yeah, especially these boats. Just getting them around 53 laps in the tour, let alone 90. Bye, you can go back and watch that. I was going straight. You turned right into me. You got loads of fuel. Yeah, we're gonna fuel. Just wanted to check that. Give it a. I gave it a tap. Give my crew chief well, a. Uh, you can look at it. One quick question. I went down. You went Tires are feeling me. tighter. I stayed straight and I was going. We get it. You just agree. You know, when the Arvinik goes over three laps, it's a uh, pump the brakes a little bit. I'm just tired of him claiming I blocked him and I hadn't. Even, he hadn't even been behind me most of this race. Ooh, almost hit the wall there. Yeah, I gotta adjust a little bit. Tires are feeling a little bit of a little bit of worn out. So, I'm just gonna stay ahead of it and make sure I'm not uh, overdriving. I think I overdrove that corner though. <laughs> Who's up front? Oh, yeah, Sean. Of course he is. Hmm. Alright, that was fast, but let me not do that again. Just pushed it a little too far. Finding out where the car is at right now, what it's willing to do for me.
This is where the tire saving starts coming in, and me to death, right? like I said, I don't really even entirely know how to get it done here. Just try to stick to my tire saving basics I'm, and uh, see where that through. takes me. You know, try to turn the wheel less. Try to be slow going into the corner. Uh, turn the wheel less. <laughs> That's about it. Steps of one, two, and one. I guess I could hit that apron a little bit more. Maybe I can use that a little bit to turn it if it gets much worse. Now that's one thing I forgot to mention. Maybe we might consider in turns three and four shifting. Might test that out. If the tires get any more worn. Because uh, that can be a thing. Because you start going real slow rolling through that corner. I might give it a try soon-ish just to see what it feels like at the moment. Shift like right there, get it turning. So that was a decent lap. I'm gonna go ahead and shift this next lap, I think, if I'm in the right spot for it, and see how it feels. Oh, almost overdrove it. Ooh, that was pretty good. Got a little bit of the inside there. Be something to it. It was a tiny bit slower, I think, because I just didn't execute it perfectly. But it's also better on the tires because you're using up the rears more whenever you're getting those high RPMs. So there might be something to that. We'll, we'll do it a couple more times, see how it's uh, feeling. I like it. Maybe. Oh, Devin's gone. He uh, gave up on staying on the lead lap, I guess. Rip in peace. Good seeing ya. Oh, that's almost the wall. Alright, so three's gonna be catching us. He saved his tires real well. The car inside. Clear. Okay, Colton. We're gaining on this car. The gap is 0.2. Do you say thank you? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. I didn't hear. He did say something. My mic, uh, my uh, chat volume might be too low or something. Or did I? No, it's not muted. Or else I wouldn't have seen it. Okay. Either way, you're welcome. Preventing uh, too wide at Darlington at any point is in everybody's best interest as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I like shifting. I like the way it's helping it turn. So we're going to keep doing that. Plus it's fun. Makes me feel like Speed Racer or something, shifting into 7th gear or something. I love that in movies <laughs> and stuff, whenever it's like a racing scene or something. It's like they're racing down the stretch and they're like all of a sudden shifting to another gear and going faster. <laughs> it's like, why wouldn't you have just been in that gear in the first place if you wanted to go faster? It's such a funny trope. But now it feels like I'm actually doing it. Like, yeah, shit, getting third. <laughs> one. To be clear, I don't have, like, a uh, an actual shifter, like a physical one. I just have my paddles on the side of my wheel, so... It's another reason my races are inauthentic. I'm not a real racer. I use paddle shifters, like a peasant. <laughs> I don't actually believe that, I'm joking. That's, uh, Sorry about that, William. I had to check up. Sorry. Do you feel like I should be honest about my equipment? Like, you know, you not guys know what I'm using? Oh, man, I was giving it gas. I didn't, yeah. T150 I Pro wheels, what I got with the, uh, whatever nicer, uh, pedals or whatever it has. This 18 is terrifying me. Is he staying down there? Inside. Clear. Vince? Every other car at Darlington scares me at all times. Nothing against you personally. Especially when someone's on the apron, it's like, oh, are they going to keep it down there? Are they going to be able to do it? Well, that lap made me think that maybe the shifting wasn't the best move. The gap behind's increased 
we'll see how it feels. Do it a, a non-shifting lap this time again. Still good on fuel. Just thought I'd check. Yep, maybe shifting wasn't the way to go. Or maybe by shifting those couple of laps, I uh, even the tires out a little bit. Maybe both. I don't know. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. Always good to try new things, though. Try to find speed elsewhere. That's why I really like having that delta bar up for a session last lap. Try a different line, try a different approach, and uh, compare it. See what works. I'm all about that. Dude, who's coming up on me? 17's got new tires. Oh, don't dive it in. Please, for the love of God. Oh, Clear inside. Clear inside. Thanks. You rule, dude. I think he was gonna do it, so I overdrove it. Good lord. All right. Can't just wait until the straightaway. That's fine. The gap to Smith ahead is increasing. It's now Do what I did. That's all right. We had to get a Darlington stripe. You can't come here and not get a Darlington stripe. So that'll be ours. Our own special part of the wall. Look, it's me. That's my paint on the wall. Now they know I've been here. 1930. <laughs> that green car is still Whoa. smashing the wall. You had about half a track till the leader gets to it, so maybe you should finish on the lead lap and stay green. Red shifting again, I don't think it's worth it. It's not getting as much rotation as I would hope, and it's kind of just killing a runoff. The tires are feeling real bad, though. Let me tell you. I tell you what. But we're still gaining on the guy behind us on the lead lap. So, we're not the only ones dealing with it. It's, uh, that's a guarantee. I think we gotta be. Ooh! I think we gotta be more patient on the throttle in turn four. It's just so tight at this point. The gap behind is now 2.8. You'll need to take care of the tires. That has me a little worried. Are we gonna run out of tire before this one's over? We might want to take it very easy. So we actually make it to the end. That has me concerned. Because that's, what, 50% when it says that? Hmm. I might have to be a little nicer to this thing. That lap time was 33.6. Hmm. We obviously don't want to pit if we don't have to. Oh my god. It stopped turning. <laughs> the lap was still faster. Go figure. That's my new line through turns three and four. I did that on purpose. I swear. So it'll give us one more war warning, I believe, when the tires are uh, even more close to dead. So we're going to be on the lookout for that. What happened, 15? Get a mechanical? Nah, I just got too hot on the I think break. it's time to shift into third with how tight it is right now. Surprised that wasn't a caution, honestly. Your right side tire was completely off. Oh boy, this car is not turning anymore. I'm really worried we're not going to make it to the end. Oh, we got people, like, wrecking, though. 
It's just that as their cars aren't turning anymore. So we might get a caution and some fresh tires here before too long. Ben's catching us a bit. That makes sense because we're going real easy. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm, I'm just... Wow. <laughs> going very slow all of a sudden. I guess I wasn't uh, being as nice as I needed to be on the thing. Apron, all right. Yeah, Tin might catch us because he's uh, he's coming up fast. Okay. Hmm. Wish I'd known I was going too hard. Figuring out how to drive it at this point, though, a little better. The slap will be about a tenth better. Almost. That lap was a 33.9. I think we got people pitting. Just curious. Hope I don't, uh... End up wishing I had pit. Is that guy bringing out a caution? Is that guy purposely sitting there hoping for a caution? Oh boy. Tain is closing in fast. Baker is really new in. The gap's now not one four. Hope he goes about it in a safe way. Sure. There you go. He had enough of a run that he couldn't just let that go. Thank you, Four. Yeah, no problem. My tires are shot. Turn, you car. You absolute car. We got 3.2 back to uh, the next guy. We'll see if how well we can hold on to that. You've got some damage. Let's get that well, tires at zero. Stay high. Clear. I thought we got another warning. Oh well. Inside. That car's insisting on passing us. I guess. Still there. Clear inside. Nah. Uh, the wall. We gotta come in and pit. Outside. Well, that stinks. Outside. I thought we got another warning. Well, this is not the first time this has happened to me in this series. Let me just say that. <laughs> Look oh, that was close. Right sides only. How to get a bag. How to get a bad finish in the 87's cars. Kill your tires. Hold down your tire. Box in Thank you. five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Remember this happened to me at a race at Dover here once too. 65, 76, 2%, 40. It wasn't even at. Oh, the very left side. Huh. Okay. Twenty. Can I get by? Okay, go. Guess we should have been focusing on uh, tire saving first. Sooner than we started. I'm not sure where we are now. I 
we got some space behind us at least. Apparently the 8 had the same problem. Needed to take tires. I think I had, I'm gonna have to get used to how this feels again. The yellow flag is out. They want you in oh. single fire. Oh, D-Road, yeah. you're closed right now, past the pavement. What's that mean for us? Jetstar 1. Genuinely don't know what that means for us. Huh. Am I still ninth? I guess I'm not the only one that blew with a tire. Huh. This has been a strange ending to this one. Still ninth. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car. Get up, the car. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Did you have some type of mechanical issue or something there? Yeah, the right front go down. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car. Left 13 needs to go. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. So, it's going for it. So, I guess we're going to get the wave around, right? We're only one Oh, we're two laps down. That sucks. We're going to get a wave around, obviously. Weird. I got a pit, man. Car five. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. You got five laps to go. Let the five. Car boy. So you don't get wave arounds in the winter series, but I'm pretty sure you do still in this one. In the regular 87 cars series. Um, it'll be the first... Oh, we, will we be back in the lead lap? Do we get away around? Because the guy pit. I hate I... <laughs> yeah, he had the, he had the race one. Uh, that sucks for him. So you got people that are staying out now. I don't know. Full course yellow. Pits are open. I don't know what's going on. I'm just a driver. So I assume we're going to get a wave around, right? So we have no one on the lead lap in front of us or a lap ahead of us, so that's going to bring us around, maybe. And will that put us on the lead lap? The car ahead's pitting now. I'm less familiar with the 87 rules, that's why it's a little more foreign to me. Two more, let's go. And the regular rules still confuse me too, so it doesn't help when all of a sudden we're like, half of the rules are now 87 rules, and then other half are like, yeah, but these are rules we like, so we're gonna keep these. Like the whole, we don't have racing back to the line under yellow and stuff. Is the race over? Oh, it got delayed because of some reason. Because it was two to green, wasn't it? And now we had another lap. Boy, I don't know what's going on. But if I finish ninth, I'm okay with that. Well, that's stupid. Pits are open. What is going on? You just lose? Hand over the limit? No, oh, my friggin' pit guy didn't even pop up until too late, and then they give us a two to go and wave it off, and there goes the race. Appreciate whoever just wrecked with five to go, that's fantastic. Guess the race is over. What flag? What flag? Yeah, because they're, I forgot they're laps ahead too, so that, now the race is over. So did everybody collectively think there was a green right check? Yeah, I thought there was going to be. There was, we got two to go and hit the line, and then they just waved it off, so that's great. Poor Sean. I thought we had half a chance. 
So because guys weren't in the right spot, one lap, if anything. Because the way they weren't in the right spot, then it got deleted. I was screwed either way. If we did get one, I don't think anyone else does. Oh, we would have gotten that green line checker. That's the only reason I always did it. I'd have done whatever. Yeah, we were set to go, I think, and then all of a sudden something happened, like someone was in the wrong spot, or there was someone stalled on the track, and so it extended the yellow flag, which has now ended the race. What the series has been, no one can handle the cars for long runs, and then they all wreck with five to go every race if there is one. Yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, Michael Massey, uh, can you uh, can you restart this race? <laughs> So I guess we're ninth. Well, that was an event. I'm pretty sure Michael Matthews didn't follow this. Mm. Kind of crap on the play at this. Weird. Still have got another lap to go. According to this, it's a white flag, so... I don't know where these guys are going. Oh, look out! What on earth is happening? I'm still on white flag here, just for the record. There's the flag. It's over. Good job. <laughs> Very good job. I don't know what that was. I went off. I guess we're raising. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm just finishing this pace lap to be sure. Bugging out or something. Same, I don't to get this and lose even more it on in. <laughs> That was weird. Well, whoever just came up with the field I appreciate your 4X. Yeah, that was strange. Yeah, again, the race is over, and you won't get a 4 the whole field will play, white checkered. We actually didn't get the checkered yet. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't know what was going on, but we were still on the white flag lap. Huh. That was weird. Alright. <laughs> anyway, 0x. <laughs> very, very strange finish. But, uh... Considering I had to pit under green and I blew my tires, I am okay with salvaging a top 10. Very strange finish. Um, I don't think I even showed off the uh, my new paint scheme. Uh, Cooper, pretty sure they do like Jake, you want to see that hockey replay? equipment. I got some people in my family that are big hockey fans. So I thought this was fun. I just really like each other. I liked the scheme. Not one person's fault. If you block like that, you gotta expect some shit to happen. They're angry. I'm trying to mute. That's not working. There we go. Um, yeah, got a couple of people in the family that like hockey stuff, and I thought the scheme looked really good, so I went ahead and chose it. It's pretty good, I think. I think it looks great under the lights. Um, new year, new paints is kind of what I've done. I went and changed a lot of the paints I've had around for a long time. I could turn three, so I don't something know to look forward to. Expect to happen when that's happening. Yeah, Sean got screwed over really it bad. It was going back up, and then he turned into me. What am I supposed to do there? Huh. Like, I didn't hold it all the way to the bottom. Anyway. I went back up. <laughs> we'll take a look and uh, see all the wrecks. Probably not block off it. These guys are, have lots to yell about. A lot of it justified, so... <laughs> We're going to go ahead and uh, just go and check out the incidents. There we go. All right, so this is lap two. Side by side, five tries to leave room and ends up in the wall. Tough. Oops, wrong one. That's bound to happen. Two wides are very, very difficult. I'll move this. Or I can do this. There we go. Alright. Number one. That wasn't actually the wall, he's just so good at bringing it right next to the wall that the game was like, did he hit the wall? It was so close. It predicted that he was going to hit it. That was a real hit, though, and that is a real overcorrection right into the middle of the field. And, uh, plenty of guys not on their brakes. 
Thankfully, no one run in, ran into him. Eat your Wheaties. I'm about to slam into the side of him. These things are hard to slow down, so I can kind of see, like, the first guy or maybe two. Had trouble slowing down, but a couple of those guys later on, they probably should have seen it coming. Now, there's me following the seven. Oh, that's when Devin, he hit the wall real hard. I remember that. Yeah, I like that. I like this scheme. Um... I should really write down, like, who made the schemes, because I just get them off of trading paints. I don't make them myself. Standing under the wall, half spinning. Saved it, though. Uh, I don't make the schemes myself, so I really should be, uh, like, keeping the names of the people so I can give them proper credit. But, uh, if anyone's curious and wants to run them themselves, I'll feel free to say so. I can go ahead and link it, credit the artist and everything. I'll be happy to do that. Mike Skinner's on the wall. <laughs> Bill Elliott's into Mike Skinner. Oh my god. That side. <laughs> Here's when Devin hits us under pacing. Boop. And then the one. What's that? I mean, I, uh, I got a break. I can't hit someone. It's a start, so. Blockbuster going out of business. This more prediction code? Yep. <laughs> I can't put it that close, so I don't trust myself. And the game's like, whoa, did you really get that close? It's a self spin off of the corner. Right over the cookout <laughs> marking. Too wide. Not gonna work. He kinda tries to slide up in front of him, but uh, didn't have him cleared, so he kinda pushes up under the wall. The number 10. Nothing too bad, thankfully. We're gonna get lots of wall hits, by the way. Maybe a lot of even these. Where they get loose off the corner because of it. Oh my god, Devin, why? Why would you do that? Isn't this. Yep, this is when he was a lap down, too. This is lap 40. I don't know why he does the things he does, but. So not the first time we've seen this. Head Darlington out of the lap car. Is he mad at the aid? I don't know. But that's not the first time I've seen that. Seems like they're done yet one. Eight into the wall. Probably frustrated or maybe has damage after it, and so okay, I remember this, because we were we passed him, I think, or we catch up to him at least after that happened. So whether it was frustration after what happened, or damage from what happened. Oh, they were both heading for the wall. Five hits it, Eleven was on his way to hit it, but he was on the inside of the five. <laughs> that kind of just came together. About halfway through the race here, this is the game predicting Sean's going to hit the wall again, because he's so close to it. Buster going out of business. Elliot doing I don't know. Oh my god, what is this? He just quits, I guess, and does it in a very dangerous way. That was weird. Thankfully doesn't bring out a dumb caution. I think nine was about to let the fire Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so what I think happened here. Nine sees the five charging forward, and so he's thinking, all right, I'll go low here and let him have the outside. But the five's thinking, all right, I have a run on him, I'm going to go to the inside. So they end up in the same spot on the exit of corner, and so it, it's like the nine's blocking, but I don't think he's intentionally blocking, if I had to guess. And then the five, maybe irritated at him, quote-unquote blocking, comes and gets him, and it does not work out for either of them. I could be wrong, that could be an accidental touch, maybe the 5 doesn't realize he's this low on the track, which... I mean, there's two lanes up here that someone should be occupying. But, uh, well, the result, no matter what the reason, is the same, and that's two damaged cars. Pretty significantly damaged cars, too, at the, at the looks of it. So, next, lap 56. Eight in the wall again. 
Maybe not. Maybe that was prediction. Yep, close though. And I know he hit the wall a couple times. I hit the wall a couple times for that matter. We got our Darlington stripe today. 13 got their Darlington stripe today. I almost lost it. Gwen has been having a pretty good race, a clean race. I don't think I've seen him yet. He just gets a little bit of a touch on the wall. Uh oh, now we're seeing him though. That's like a blown tire. Maybe. Because that looks like he has no turn left at all. 17, or 17 and 11th, rather. I don't know why we're seeing that. Maybe the tire is ripping off of it. There's me. I hit the wall, or is this my tire? Getting really low. I'm pretty sure it shows whenever the tires hits like a critical point. That might have been the moment it happened to us. Precision. Blockbuster. Blowing a tire, maybe. Yeah, everybody's uh, reaching critical points on their tires, I think. So we're starting to see it all here. All around lap 60 or so. If I had to guess why we're getting a lot of these incidents that aren't incidents. That's going to be a wall hit, though. Just a small tab, that's nothing. If anything, made him faster. It's like the... Kyle Larson video game move on the outside. I think that would actually work. But uh, you can only do that once. Because <laughs> you're going to rip the right side off of it, probably. Team, that's overdriving. That's well into the wall. I think it's stuck to it. So that'll make them slower. I mean, they uh, survive it though. Am I hitting the wall? Is this my? I think this is my tire finally hitting zero or something. It was around this time, I think. We're getting close to it. Nothing. Tires probably. Yeah, they blew they blew a tire. That's what all those sparks are. So they finally hit zero and. I know that for a fact that's what happened to them. That's why they finished right behind us, because they also had to come in for uh, tires. Well, in the wall, we haven't seen them yet. That's been their one mistake so far. I think maybe they blew a tire too, though. Thought I saw sparks, maybe not. Dang, hitting the wall and spinning. Caution at the end? I don't think so. I think uh, that did not break out a caution. Is this? Oh, there's a tire off of it. Actually, I heard them saying like I'm surprised that it didn't bring out a caution because you lost your tire. And I do believe that is what they were they were talking about. Blockbuster finally hit rock bottom. Oh, and then they spin because they don't have the tire. And overcorrect. Is this the caution? I don't think so. I think we're still waiting on the caution. But, uh, lots of guys blowing tires and hitting the wall, and it's all, uh, coming down to it here. A few more laps before we find out what actually did cause the final caution that ended the race. It should be on new tires by now, so this isn't tire-related. Might have predicted they hit the wall there or something. Here's us. I can tell by how... Well, maybe not. Have we pit at this point? I don't think so. Or, I think so, I mean. I think we'd already pit at this point. Judging by how fast I'm going, I think I did, in fact. Yes. Maybe. No. I don't know. I don't remember, okay? I'm sorry. Blockbuster's still having trouble. That stinks. He seemed to be doing okay before too too much of all this started happening. Looks like he just came out of the pits right here. Unless that was him getting going after wrecking. 
Yeah, I think he was still trying to get in the pits. Man, he's having a rough time. I've been there, though. This. Is this the caution? Finally? Is this it? Is there a yellow flag? Yellow flag check. Anybody? No. Let me do. Let me do this. I don't think we got the uh, yellow flag still. Huh. What is it? I'm dying of anticipation here. It's just a six hit in the wall. The guy who should have won the race, to be honest. I think everybody knows that. What am I doing? This blown tire? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm done guessing. I wasn't paying attention to what lap it was. 17 diving in and us. He's probably got fresh tires at this point, but you gotta anticipate the guys on not fresh tires are not gonna be able to take the corners as well. That guy's got a blown tire, I believe. I thought I saw some sparks. 13 runs over the 16. Absolutely runs him over. That must have been... He's several laps down. He's a lot of laps down, I think. I bet he three. this must have been it. 13 just runs him over. And they spin, and then they're in the track, so it's going to cause the uh, cause the yellow, I think. So that's what I did to the race. 13 runs him over. Oh, and then Sean had trouble in the pits. What did he say happened again? Oh, his guys didn't show up. They, like, blinked in last minute or something. That's what I think he said. So he missed his stall. That might have been what cost him the win. In addition to, you know, late cautions. Is the six hitting the wall under caution? What's happening? I don't know. Oh, and then this... I don't know where the fives... I, guess, I mean, I guess the five assumes the race is over, and it really should have been, but a lot of the guys up front were still in the white flag lap, so it was some weird, glitchy kind of thing going on. The five's like, all right, we could just accelerate now, and then this happens. Five still finished ahead of us, so it's. I don't think it mattered. Weird, though. Very weird. I don't know, man. But I believe that's it. Yeah, that should be it. So, <laughs> very weird ending to it. Um, for the 10 millionth time, I blew a tire under green flag conditions because I don't know how to save tires in the 87 cars. <laughs> I thought we got two warnings, and so I would have taken it even softer if I had known that, but uh, I don't know if I was going to make it. We were short, like, nine laps. But uh, still okay. Um, probably would have finished, what, where were we, like, fifth? So I lost about four spots. That's not too bad. Still ended up in uh, top 10. Probably get a break even on I rating or something. Um, yeah, probably because all the guys were better I rating than us finished ahead. So we might lose a couple. Maybe about the same. But either way, it doesn't matter. Because uh, it was fun. The green flag racing was fun. Nothing too, too dumb out there. Thankfully, at least not done to us. So I'm happy with that. I'll... Uh, I'll Take that one on home and feel okay with it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, apologies for some of my less intelligent decisions in terms of tire saving and stuff. But uh, I did my best. Started third, finished ninth. Four car. Top ten. At a tough track. Uh, at a tough... And a tough car. Combination, so. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.